Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this home. We are in a small village in the province of Asti in Piemonte. There are lots of trees in front of the house, so you may not be able to see it right now. It has two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, an attic, a garden to the front of the property, behind the property, and then across the road. It will all make sense when you watch the video. The views, the views are beautiful. There are different areas where you can have pergolas and enjoy the outdoors. This home is located in the province of Asti in the gorgeous region of Piemonte in the northwest of Italy. The region is well known for the production of high quality wines such as Barolo, for being the birthplace of famous chocolatiers like Ferrero Rocher and the home of Fiat automobiles. It cannot get more Italian than this. This picturesque village has just over 1,700 people and is 239 meters above sea level. The closest train station is only 10 minutes away and you can reach the capital of the region, Torino, a fantastic city, in only one hour by car or train. So the location is unreal. You will be surprised to know that in the middle of the town there is a one Michelin star restaurant. So you will be able to discover amazing local dishes just by walking a few minutes from your new home. By living in this area, you will be able to reach places such as Milan and Genoa in only two hours. And if you want to change the pace a little, the French Riviera is only three hours away. Being completely habitable and at only 49,000 euros, this home is a steal. This is the first video of our Piemonte series. We hope that you appreciate the different landscapes and architecture you will see and who knows, maybe this series is exactly what you have been waiting for to find your dream home in Italy. We have pomegranate like here, like yeah. and about ah, okay. 200 yeah. square meters of garden. Yeah. See, yeah. once you clear it, yeah. it will be good because yeah. look, yeah. most of it is flat. Yeah. Uh, they have a little shed over there. Um, I brought the, no, I brought the right working shoes to go there, but I'm not gonna. No, your pants are not right. My pants are <laughs> not the ones. My pants don't match my shoes. And once you clear that bush there, you have that gorgeous view back there of the forest and it's fenced. And stairs are pretty comfortable to go up to the road. And then the property is there. So between the property and the garden, you have this small street okay so now we enter the property and we have the gate here and the garden is just right over there <laughs> And towards this side, we have what we could be a beautiful pergola here. At some point, it seems like there was, but not anymore. With gorgeous, mature trees. <laughs> George is enjoying himself. And then over here, maybe a works workspace area possible garage ah look there is more here Woo. 
Okay, more storage. Looks like it has electricity and it has been used as a working space there with tools. And if we continue over here, we have the house right there and another pergola. If we come over here, we find the main entrance there. This will look so nice and inviting when it's um when it has some TLC. Okay. Let's go inside. As we enter, we find some stairs and here we're going to be checking out two bedrooms and a half bathroom. Right as we come, we see this little, hmm, it's not really a balcony, it's like a, somehow, a balcony, a window. Oh my god, what are they? That is unbelievable. Ducks? No. Maybe. And over that way, we have a mountain called Monte Rosso, but you can't really see it right now because it's uh, foggy. The temperature is about nine degrees. Feels nice and crisp. And the beautiful colors of autumn are settling in. There is another garden down there of about 50 square meters. And we'll check that out in a second. If we turn this way, you'll see the main entrance and stairs. And then our first bedroom here. Pretty nice size, and over here they used it to put a wardrobe and this an attic up that way. And another balcony here. of the pergola areas was down there and then the gate is over there if we go back inside okay well, there's an attic there and you can stand up okay cool I'm not gonna go there no. we'll receive your report it's tall enough for you to stand up okay and if we continue to the left, we're going to see another bedroom here. Just a little bit smaller than the first bedroom. Are you taking measurements, honey? Are you taking measurements? Yeah. Cool. And it has a window also that faces the front of the house. Okay. If we go over here, we'll find our have bathroom. We have a full bathroom downstairs. Um, 
I think there will be enough room for a shower if you reposition things, probably a smaller sink. Um, and then here we have a view of the back garden. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. From only $3.50 a month, you can help us continue to bring you the content you love. I will share the link in the description section of this video. Grazie mille! Okay, if we turn right, we're going to find the living area. It has a couple of windows facing the front of the house. One here and one over there. So you'll have plenty of air coming in. Today is pretty overcast, so it's quite dark and there is no electricity in the house. This is our main bathroom with toilet, bidet, sink, sink, shower, and a space for the washing machine and some storage. And there's a window there overlooking the garden. And if we come over this way, we find our kitchen. So I wonder if you call open up one of these walls to have an open kitchen here. And then if we keep going this way, we'll have the little garden. If you're still watching this video, it seems to me that you're pretty serious about purchasing a home in Italy. If you're ever in need of expert, independent legal advice and support at any stage of your property purchase process, we will be more than happy to refer you to a fantastic group of professionals we have been collaborating with. Just send us an email to rossiniandco at gmail.com. We'll have the little garden that we said it's about 50 square meters. So it's right there. It's fenced on both sides. We're not sure if it's fenced on the back. You access it through a set of stairs. And it looks like they're renovating the house next door, which is fantastic. Let's go back to the front. We got okay. And now we're back outside at the front of the house with these beautiful grounds. If you would like to know why we're doing these home tours in Piemonte, be sure to watch our introductory video to the Piemonte series. I will link that video in the description section of this video or somewhere on this screen. Thank you so much to our patrons for their generosity, your extra support is really appreciated. 
we have a lot more content for you to enjoy. If you would like to continue watching other home tours, please click here. If you would like to watch the videos of our own purchase and renovation story, click here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!